Yo, what's going on? So this week we're going to talk about period myths around the world. Tall tales, not old wives tales. Not old wives tales. That's sexist. We collected these how? We got them on social media, we got them through our ambassadors who are across the whole world, and we got a ton of responses from people everywhere. So apparently you can't touch plants on your period in some places. They might die. They'll, they'll die. So if you're a farmer, you're just I guess yeah. for a week of the month. Yeah. So that's not good news for female farmers. No. We heard this one from Israel that when you get your first period, you get slapped on either that happened side. happened to Lisa's grandma. Really? Yeah, she told me. So you have beautiful rosy red cheeks throughout your life. My friends, their mom slapped them and then said Shabbat Shalom. Yeah. So it was like a celebration. A fun little shock yeah. into yeah. womanhood. There's a lot about water. Like don't go yeah. near water, don't shower, but do shower because you're dirty. Yeah. Or like shower on the fourth day. You can enter a place of worship or prayer while you're menstruating in India. Same with the kitchen. You shouldn't touch food. Mm -hmm. If you try to bake bread, and this is across the world, it yeah. seems like. If you try to cook anything, it'll just be ruined. Like if you try to whip up cream, it'll curdle. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Won't, won't stick, won't you form. Just forget about mayonnaise. Don't just, even bother. Just don't try to whip cream. Poland, having sex can kill your partner. <laughs> R.I.P. Don't go in the ocean, because sharks will find you. Cue Jaws theme song. Also, don't go camping, because bears will come to your tent. Aware. Forget about like your peanut butter sandwich. Your period will attract those bears. Yeah. You can't make sushi in Japan because you have an imbalance in your taste. Brazil, if you walk barefoot, you might get cramps. Put on your shoes. In the Dominican Republic, you can't paint your nails or drink lemonade. Yeah. Good so, to know. But maybe iced tea? These myths seem funny and whatever, but they're all what you can't do or can't touch or shouldn't do. And that just contributes to oppression. Oppression and sexism. The medicalization of female health. It's like, oh, if you have your period or you're PMSing, that's a problem. But it's not a problem. It means you're healthy. And even if it changes all the time and it's irregular, that's still normal. Your body's just functioning. <laughs> These taboos aren't really helping. We did a survey on euphemisms across the world too so check that out on our website it's also really interesting the way people talk about periods mm -hmm. they don't want to say like you're on your period instead they say things like having the painters in <laughs> what? yeah in the uk one of my good friends used to call the period rachel rachel's sleeping over oh. rachel's coming to town this weekend made me feel weird about people named rachel apparently there's one called like the russians are coming a lot of war references okay militant yeah strawberry season that sounds nice but it's like every month so it doesn't really make sense ketchup week communists in the gazebo in <laughs> danish oh my god yeah the arrival of matthew perry we got this from japan <laughs> It's not the actor. He instigated the menstrual cycle, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Apple bread, food references. Defrosting the steak. Not vegan. Um, Eldest aunt, the red cousin. So it's not your aunt, it's your cousin. Good name for a horror movie, your red cousin. These family members, just leave them out of it. It's coming down. Sounds like a song. It's going it's down. It's going down. Young Jack. Na, na, na. Vaginally out of order. I don't know how they say it in French. Technical control. The small little elves, that's sweet. There's um, just too many. If you have heard any other unusual myths, let us know. 